Pokey May. Welcome to the Pokey Noodle. I am Hannah, and this is where we talk about all things cross stitch. I think. Um, yeah, it's just been kind of a crazy morning. It's been good. It's been a good day. So, um, welcome, welcome if you're new. Thanks for joining me. If you're coming back, thanks for putting up with me. I guess. Um, yeah. So I, I might be just a little bit of a maniac. Uh, let's just get into it and talk about a little bit of stitching. This isn't normal floss tube. It's going to be short, hopefully, and to the point. I flip my camera around. So right now I'm trying to figure out where to look. Hopefully I'm looking at you and not some random spot in the back of your room, right? Beyond. Anyway, hello, friends. Um, and if you think I'm crazy, my kids think I'm crazier. They're at that age. So um, I really... Let's see. I have notes. I have notes because I have had a busy morning and I'm trying to fit this in today because I totally failed to do it yesterday because I am pokey. I'm, I'm taking accountability for myself. I am just not with it sometimes. But I am half organized and I'm trying to show up. So there's that. Um, Okay, I'm mostly prepared. I'm gonna look at my notes and I'm probably probably not even gonna cut it. Uh, I'm sorry, I wanna look at you and I just don't know that I am all together today. Okay, I'm together. Like when I write my notes, everything is like boom, 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 I got it. And then I turn the camera on and I feel like an idiot. And I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. Maybe we should just start with why. Why I want to do mania. Besides the challenge of starting something new every day. Um, ooh, uh, who was it? Brenda. Brenda's channel. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Oh, see, I'm bad at floss tube. Okay, well, I'll insert it right here. Right here. The light. I just need to slow down. Okay, so here's the deal with mania. I'm a maniac um, because, well, um, Life is short and I have time right now and you use it or you lose it, right? So I am stitching. What I found out was when I looked at my calendar the other day, I have stitched every single day this year except for when I ended up in the hospital. So I am very confident to take on this challenge. Um, and I wanna practice filming. So let's just take a pause. I was in the basement last night for a little bit because of the tornadoes, sirens, and I just want to say my heart is really with the people that this is affecting. It, it's seriously, it's a lot, and I really hope everybody's staying safe out there. Like. My prayers are with you, for real, for real, for real. If this is affecting you guys, um, just know that there's, a, a, everybody's, people are coming together. There are organizations um, that are trying to help everyone, and I know that. And if you are in need, please reach out. Please don't suffer without getting the help that you need with the storm. And just pray that like they let up soon because this has been insane. I don't know if you don't live around here, if you don't live in the Midwest and you don't know what I'm talking about, tornadoes have been touching down. There have been dozens of them daily for like the last week or so. It's been insane. Um, so anyway, I don't know if that was the cause to segue into 
back to mania. Sorry. Um, to segue back into one reason why I want to do mania is I wanted to practice filming with my new camera, which isn't here. And I, I'm not upset about it. I was, I mean, especially knowing the reason, but, um, I wasn't expecting it for a couple more weeks and they shipped it and it was supposed to be here today and it's not. And I checked on it and they said a train derailed and I was like, Oh, that's awful. That is awful. So, um, yeah, I can wait on the camera, but that's one reason was I wanted to start filming. And did I mention, I think I mentioned it. I'm like flip the camera around and I'm like trying to do things and we're just trying things out. Just trying to, but I really want my other camera because this one's kind of, it's on my iPad and it's stationary. And I am, as you can tell, probably better if I'm not sitting because I'm like, is that a thing? No, I'm, I'm sitting in a weird spot and it's like hard to not move around and it's hard to move around. And I, if I scooch like two inches that way, I'm like, Bleh. and I can't sit up and you guys don't care. I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. If you see cuts, this is why, because I'm a nut. Okay, so why? Well, one, because life is short and do the things. And two, because I want to practice filming because I need to get better at this. And three, to look like my chores. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I have a lot of kits. So what's prompted this in my mind was I have all these kits and because I realized last year I don't like kidding. And so I started kidding all the things, all the things, and I have like 30 bags of kits. But what I do is, well, let's just, I'm going to show you the bee farm real quick. Look, look, here's the bee farm salad. I finished it. That's just a teaser. I'll show you more on Friday or Saturday or whenever I get that out. But look, okay, this is my problem. This is what goes into my bags. Well, not usually this much, but it's a half yard of fabric, right? And it's a half yard of fabric and I probably have a quarter yard in all my bags and every project. And I don't want to cut them down because I changed my mind because I've noticed my tastes are changing. That's another reason. So my tastes have been changing a little bit on what I want to stitch. And so then I thought, Or maybe I didn't because that was like a little brain fart or shh, don't say that. Um, so, okay, where was I? So I, I don't like kidding, but what I realized was I hate starting more than I hate kidding. Ah! So I have a lot of new projects that I want to start and I, I do, I start them all, you guys see. And so the extra fabric, fabric in my bags is ridiculous, ridiculous. And I have an affliction and it affliction. No, no afflictions here. I do have brain damage. <laughs> I don't ever want to talk about it because it's kind of a damper, right? Like who wants to talk about so it was like nine years ago, I fell and hit my head and I'm doing good. Like, as you can tell, like I'm recovering, but sometimes words come out that shouldn't come out. And if that ever happens and you hear me talking about watermelons and you're like, what is she talking about? It's because I don't know what I'm talking about and it's okay. It's okay. Cause it's all in good fun, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, I have, um, an addiction <laughs> to new starts stitching all the things. I don't know. We all do, but I want to stitch faster. And I gave up my birthday gift, which was getting the, it's going to get the, um, what's it called? Hard, is it hard works? I'm not sure. I'm just making things up mm. from Evertote, you know, their floor stand. That was going to be my birthday present. Oh, I gave it up. So maybe for Christmas. Anyway. Um, Okay, I have notes, let me look. All right, so I looked at all my stitching and all the projects, so I wrote them all out. And I have this little ca calendar of um, post-it notes of what I wanna stitch and how many um, 
what the stitch count of uh, number of stitches is, right? So, except this, this says, hey, go dye your fabric for your new project because I can't do that. Um, so it all adds up to about six months worth of stitching. So I know I talked about that with my 12 by 12, that I make sure that the projects that I pick, that I'm not picking projects that will take like 10 years of stitching that I'm trying to start this year, because that would be silly. So this was about six months worth of stitching. Um, my 12 by 12, I know was under a year. And so I've probably stitched about half that already. So I feel like, I feel like it's okay. I have um, only five projects that are over 10,000 stitches each. So, and nothing is over 20. So it's kind of like most of them are smalls, right? So I think it'll be fine. Um, I do have, they're mostly holiday pro projects. So I must have, when I kitted, was like really like gung-ho for like fall and Christmas. Um, and every project I picked, like every single one of these little blocks is, is a new project. The only project I am bringing back for this month is Freya that I started for the key. Um, Carolyn Manning Freya that I started for Manny May last year. So I wanted to get that finished before I started the new one. And yeah, uh, let's see. I have notes. I don't know what I'm choosing. Oh, okay. I'm going to take it day by day. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to, like, if I have a headache or something, I'm not going to worry about uploading but I am going to film and I am going to post and I'm going to try to do it daily because that's the whole point um I'm going to share every day it will be a short video hopefully only like five minutes I'm going to share my new start and I'm going to share my plans yeah I'm going to share my the plans for the new start and then I'm going to share the progress from the day before um and maybe we'll throw in some fun things. Speaking of fun things, I do have the project cards already on Google, what is it, Google Docs. So I will get that video. I wanna make it separate so people can just reference it and, and not have to deal with all of this jibber jabber. So um, I'm going to film that and get it up by tomorrow. Um, because guys, I just want you to know, I'm trying on Instagram. I'm really like, I don't like it. I love the community. I don't like the process. And I'm scared of it. I have no idea how it works. Does that, does that date me? Does that make me old or just lame? Anyway. <laughs> So I want to have fun and um, probably maybe do some giveaways because I have a few things. So I want to do that. Um, let's see. I'll do a wrap up at the end of the month and do a floss tube this weekend to kind of just do like a normal thing. Um, okay. And so let's see. This month, on top of stitching, I want to do some sewing projects, a few finishing projects. I really got to get some FFOs. Like, I have none. Like, okay, I've got a couple, but like, my projects just stack up. Um, I have life things going on. My oldest is 18 and graduating. My niece is 18 and graduating. What's great is my brother's kids and my kids are we each have two and they're like a couple months apart from each other so like they we live a few hours apart but like they are they'll play like um chess together online and stuff so it's really great that they're good friends um let's see oh it's my 21st wedding anniversary not today not today this month um we've been together for 28 years known each other for 29 we, I don't think I ever mentioned that. Maybe I'll tell you guys more when it's like our anniversary. I'll tell more stories. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? I think that's about it. Oh, hashtags. That was weird. I might cut that. 
So hashtags. <laughs> Here's some hashtags. Um, I'll, I'll put them all down below. There is, let's see, there's the Manny May style. There's uh, Mirabilia, Mir, Mirabilia. You think, I don't know where that accent comes from. Uh, Mirabilia. And there's the Maniac sets of styles. I don't know what they are. Did I even write them down? Let's see, what's the point of notes if you don't read them? Mira May Cross Stitch Mania. That's what it is. So, um, you're probably reading it, and I and you're like, duh, but whatever. Beat me to it. Um. Okay, notes, notes. Let me look at my notes. It's just one of those days. I don't know. I think that's it. Um, yeah, say hi below because I love the comments. It's fun. This is fun. But um, for real, I want to get more involved in this community. I am hoping after the little incident last month um, that I will heal and recover and actually beyond where I was before because I know my first video, I think it was my first video, I said I probably won't be going out because I don't get out because of my brain injury. So um, I think I going to the hospital, there was something adjacent to that that happened that I think helped with some of this recovery. Um, so fingers crossed, I will continue, continue to heal beyond what I was before. And I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we can do some events and get to see some people and meet some people because that's, I mean, I love being here and sharing my projects, but like, I want to get to know you guys. Like, I want, I want to build this community, even if it's just local. Like, I just want to, I just want to be here, hang out, stitch all the things. Hi, kitty. Oh, I was about to say goodbye. You want to see my kitty? Say hi, monkey. Say hi. Her name's Maki, Maki Otto. She had a sister, well, she has a sister, hopefully, but her sister doesn't live with us anymore. Her sister's name is Chai, and this is Maki. So, I'm probably like coffee. <laughs> you wanna say hi? You can sit on my lap. Um, I will say goodbye, and then the cat came, and then I, I had to cut that off. So, hi. I have a friend. <laughs> um. I totally forgot to show you my project for today. Today is Mirabilia. It's my first Mirabilia. This is gonna be one of my focuses this month. I'm gonna focus on the Carolyn Manning and the Mira May and everything else. I wanna stitch at least 100 stitches a day. Um, I kind of made a list somewhere. I don't have it to show you. I think it's on my iPad um, where it was like a minimum of 200 a day, but some of them I'll try to like, because they're small, let's just get them done kind of thing. So we'll see. But this is my first Mira. It is um, a midsummer, mid, <sighs> midsummer night's fairy. That's what it is. Y'all, I'm a mess. I shouldn't even upload this. <laughs> I am stitching it on Jazz 32 Count Jazz Linen by Picture This Plus. So it is blue with the purple. I know I showed this before, but maybe some of you didn't see it. So I think that, oh, it's hitting the light there. I think that will be gorgeous. Okay. And then I have simplified my life and picked out the cold force. They're like not, we'll do that today. I didn't hit them. So what happened is I, I punched these. So I punched my own cards on watercolor paper from a die that I have and then I just punched holes. And I ran out. So I need to like punch a bunch more and I just haven't done that yet. And then I have the bag of goodies. Never, well, I can't say never. I beaded, I just haven't beaded like a lot like Mira. So that's my project for today. So here is project number one, because I need to get her going. I'm going to start in her dress. That's what I decided. So, um, yeah, that's that. So.
so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to show that and then we'll start with project number two. Thanks for joining me on this guy. Seriously. Um, it's been so fun getting to know you guys. I've been making friends and this has been great because um, I don't know anybody. That's not true. My sister-in-law stitches, but she's a few hours away and we don't ever get to hang out and stitch. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I'm back. Might be a train wreck. Happy stitching, friends. See you tomorrow. <laughs>